There are many delicious foods that we miss out on on low carbohydrate diets, including a hearty homemade chicken or beef pot pie. Now there's a fast food restaurant that serves a pot pie, but for the carb conscious, it's simply out of the question with over 50 grams of carbohydrate per serving. Hi, I'm Dr. Fiorite, and today I will provide a delicious alternative in my homemade keto pot pie recipe, which is both easy to make and low carb conscious with eight grams of carbohydrate per serving. So let's bake a keto pot pie, shall we? You will need the following ingredients. A keto flour, in this iteration, we'll be using the King Arthur flour, which is readily available in grocery stores. Normally you hear me reference the LC Foods flour, but you'll have to order it if you don't have it in stock. And that could be cumbersome and as well as it's not expedient. So for expediency's sake, we're going to use the keto flour, the King Arthur flour, since you can get it in any grocery store. You also need whatever type of protein that you want to put into the pot. Let's just say you want to have a chicken pie, you'll just have to have some chopped chicken, or if you want a beef pie, pie, of course you have to use chopped beef. But it can be any type of protein that you prefer. One can of mixed vegetables, one can of condensed cream of chicken soup, or if you're making a beef pot pie, you're going to have to have some beef gravy and just a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it. But in this situation, we're going to make a chicken pot pie, so we just need the cream of chicken soup. To make the pie crust, you're going to also need, in addition to the flour, you're going to have to have one quarter cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of milk or half and half, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of sweetener. So for the first thing you have to do is you have to chop your protein into bite-sized pieces. Once you do that, you empty the can of mixed vegetables into a bowl, add the can of cream of chicken soup or the beef mixture that I referenced earlier. Then you add the protein and you mix well. Next, prepare a crust by mixing one cup of the low carb flour with a quarter cup of olive oil or the milk or half and half, whichever one you choose to use and you mix them together with a fork and you knead them into a ball and you want to knead it for about a minute or so but you don't want to over knead it because the more you knead flour or flour type proteins like the ones that we're going to be using they tend to become tougher because of the gluten that they're forming so you don't want to overwork your dough. Next you want to spread it out using a rolling pin and some parchment paper into a crust. The resulting pie crust should be thin and if it breaks it certain places you can piece it back together. Since this is not about aesthetics it's about taste and texture so don't worry if it breaks. Now what you want to do is spray a casserole dish with the cooking spray and then pour the filling mixture into the dish and level it off then cover it with the top crust. Cut a few slits into the top crust and then place the pie into a 375 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Once it finished baking, it should be browned and bubbly. Allow the pie to cool for 15 to 30 minutes for the ingredients to marry. And while the pie is cooling, let me provide for you a Dr. Feel Right health tip. Avoid excessive water intake. Many people are under the misconception that you should drink gallons of water daily and that's a good thing to do, but the proof is mounting that this practice can be very harmful. It's not at all helpful. Too much water dilutes the electrolytes and it leads to heart arrhythmias as well as a problem with brain function. This is called water toxemia. What you want to do is let your body be your guide. Check your urine. Once your urine becomes clear, you've drank enough water. And there you have it. A delicious, quick, and easy homemade keto pot pie. Enjoy. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a great day.